The nonprofit group Tennessee Kids Belong is working to educate parents about the foster care experience. Our Jemiah Beatty joins us in the studio about what they're doing and how you can help. Jemiah. Cindy Gregg, organizers are looking for interested foster parents willing to open their homes for a child to stay temporarily. The journey is rewarding but can be hard once the child has to return home. The goal is for anyone to come and step into being a foster parent, to be that safe place in the middle while biological family are trying to get back on their feet. The organizers hope to support foster families. Last year, research showed a critical need for foster homes. More than 8,000 children are in the foster care system. Emily Graffius, who is a foster mom, says those numbers are stressing out families who want to help. Foster families are quitting. They're getting really burned out. 50% of foster families quit within the first year. And they, the main reason is the lack of community support. The group Tennessee Kids Belong works to provide foster families with support like providing groceries or helping with yard work so they're never alone. Graffia says a child's life is impacted positively when families have help. So I was a burned out foster mom um, and I could have really used help and, and felt seen. I would, I would have loved to have felt seen in my community. They hope the Foster Care Summit will educate more parents on the benefits of fostering. Hear from foster parents, hear from youth that are aging out, hear from different agency. Every private agency in Chattanooga will be represented there and de the Department of Children's Services. Caroline Pepper says the goal is to place kids in loving homes until they can be reunited. When I've seen kids be reunified, it's been a celebration of they have done what they need to do to get their children back and um, it's something to celebrate. Graffia says when a child leaves a foster home, it's hard for the family, but rewarding for the child. So supporting reunification seems impossible. But honestly, our hearts can break a little for theirs to heal a lot, and it's worth it. The event will be at the First Presbyterian Church on May 6th. You can learn more about it inside our app. I'm Jeremiah Beatty, Local 3 News.